cooking at the rhythm of my heart. Thank you so much for stopping by and visiting. I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite childhood breakfasts. I normally don't eat breakfast, but when I do, uh, I like it to be something that brings me home. And today I have prepared for you one of my favorites. I'm going to share with you the step-by-step -step on how to make cream of cornstarch, but not just any cream of cornstarch. I have prepared for you the step-by-step -step on how to make coconut cream of cornstarch. If you would like to see just how easy and simple it is to make this delicious coconut cream of cornstarch, stay with me and I'll show you how. This recipe is very quick and simple to make and we're going to need some water, coconut milk, cornstarch, coconut milk powder, sugar, salt, and finally, coconut or vanilla extract. Before turning on the heat, whisk it to dissolve the cornstarch, the coconut milk powder, and the sugar. And break up all those lumps. As you can see, this part is very simple to make. This part is very quick. You can be enjoying this cream of cornstarch in under 10 minutes. When everything is perfectly mixed and there's no lumps, turn the heat to high and stir constantly. This part is very important. That's going to keep the cream of cornstarch from forming lumps. And since this uh, cream of cornstarch takes so very little time to cook, um, you want to continue whisking it for the entire process. The cream should be ready anywhere between four to six minutes, depending on your stove. Just continue stirring, and it happens very quickly. Once it reaches a near boiling temperature, you're gonna see that it's gonna begin to thicken. And that's what makes this cream such a quick and easy breakfast to make. This is one of those dishes that actually brings me back to my childhood back home in Puerto Rico. My mother used to make for us all different sorts of creams and the uh, cream of cornstarch is actually one of my favorite, especially the coconut flavored. It's been about two minutes since I started the process, uh, so we know it's almost there. Like I said, it can take anywhere between four to six minutes uh, to cook depending on your stove. So you want to continue stirring vigorously to prevent it from sticking to the bottom of the pan and also from burning. Continue whisking. As you can see, it's already developed some bubbles and some foam on the top. That means that everything is almost at a boiling point. Once it gets almost to a boiling point, reduce the heat to medium high. Keep an eye on it and you'll see how it goes from a liquid to a cream in no time at all. I don't want to torture you for the next three to four minutes uh, watching me stir the pot. Uh, however, I'll bring you back right before it begins to thicken because it does happen very quickly. Look at that. It's thickening. And in a matter of seconds, you'll notice that it becomes that cream consistency that we are looking for. At this point, it's very important that you continue stirring because you definitely want to keep it from sticking at the bottom of the pan. And it's been cooking for a little bit over five minutes already. And just like that, we have a beautiful, silky, warm cream of cornstarch. But not just any cream of cornstarch, a coconut cream of cornstarch. If you've ever tried tembleque de coco, which is a coconut custard uh, traditional to Puerto Rico, uh, particularly for the holidays around Christmas time, uh, you can use this recipe. Uh, and it doubles perfectly as a quick tembleque. Obviously the traditional tembleque that we make in Puerto Rico uh, is prepared using uh, fresh coconuts. We squeeze the uh, milk from the coconut and then we go through the process. But if you're craving a quick tembleque or coconut custard, you can certainly use this recipe. It doubles perfectly uh, as a quick tembleque. You just follow the same directions uh, that I showed you, same process. Bring it to room temperature and then place it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours and enjoy. I just share with you a recipe that is not only a great nutritional breakfast, 
but it also doubles as a dessert. And just like that, we have a silky, smooth cream of cornstarch. Look at that. Okay, we're almost there. When it bubbles, and it's bubbling already, be very careful. Keep it in the heat for another 20 to 30 seconds or so. And once it reaches that consistency, you know it's done. Look at that. It is silky and smooth. It smells amazing. Turn off the heat, plate it, and enjoy. For breakfast, we serve it hot. And this recipe is enough to feed two adults, four small children, or two very hungry teenagers. And this is the way my mother used to make it for us, is we want to just dust a little bit of cinnamon over the top. As much or as little as you like. Same thing if you're going to make the tembleque or the coconut custard, we always top it with a little bit of cinnamon. And if you uh, don't think there's enough coconut flavor in your cream of cornstarch, you can sprinkle some coconut flakes over the top. And there you have it, our coconut cream of cornstarch. Enjoy! The moment I've been waiting is here and it's time to taste this delicious cream of cornstarch and not just any cream of cornstarch. We made coconut cream of cornstarch. Smells absolutely amazing. Let's try it. It goes without saying that you can taste the flavor of the coconut throughout the entire dish. We use the coconut milk, the coconut milk powder, the extract, and of course the coconut flakes. It's absolutely amazing. You really have to try it. If you like this video, support the channel and subscribe. It's absolutely free. Give me a thumbs up, share this video, and activate the notification bell so you don't miss out on more fantastic, delicious, quick and simple video recipes like this one. And until next time, I'm Evita cooking at the rhythm of my heart. Buen provecho y hasta la próxima. Mm. Oh my goodness. You really have to try it.